next. Forfeiture of shares issued at a premium. What are the accounting entries? Forfeiture of shares issued at a premium, assuming the premium money has been received. Entry on forfeiture of the shares which were issued at a premium is of two types. One is assuming that premium money has been received and two, what happens if premium money is not received. If premium, share premium has been received, this money cannot be used for any other purpose. As per the Companies Act, there are restrictions on the use of the securities premium. Share premium is transferred to the securities premium account and the restrictions on the sec security premium are or rather the securities premium account can be utilized only for four purposes. What are they? One, they can be used to issue fully paid bonus shares. Two, they can be used to set off the preliminary expenses. Three, they can be used to write off the discount commission or any other loss or expenses on issue of shares or debentures. And fourthly, they may be used to write off the premium on redemption of preference shares or debentures. It cannot be used for anything else. So securities premium, if it has been received, it cannot be used for any other purpose. It cannot be transferred to any other account. It cannot be transferred to shares for feeder or any such account. So if share premium has been received, we pass the entry on for feature as if the shares were issued at par. We ignore the premium element. So the entry becomes share capital account debit with the called up value into the shares forfeited to shares forfeited account with the amount which is received on the shares forfeited but excluding the premium money. But excluding the premium money. Because premium money cannot be touched, it's been received. To calls in areas with the unpaid amount on the shares forfeited. Therefore, if to pass an entry on forfeiture of shares which were issued at a premium with the premium money having been received, the entry is passed as if premium has not been, there was no issue of premium. Premium is completely ignored. If we take an example of a rupees 10 share which is issued at a premium of rupees 2. And let us say the amount payable was 3 plus 5 plus 4. Usually premium, discount, these are adjusted along with allotment. <clears throat> let us say the premium of 2 rupees is included in the allotment money. So the total amount 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 10 rupees share issued at a premium of 2. Installment 3 plus 5 plus 4. Let us say these two installments have been received and 4 rupees has not been received. So what would be the entry? Share capital account would be debited with the called up value 10. Not 12, it's 10 because 12 is 2 rupees, 10 plus 2, 2 rupees is securities premium. Share capital is always credited or debited with the nominal value, the face value, the called up portion of the nominal value. <clears throat> to shares forfeited, the total with the amount which is received on the shares forfeited. The amount which we have actually received is 3 plus 5, 8 rupees but we ignore the premium of 2 rupees and therefore to shares forfeited account would be credited with only 6 rupees. To calls in areas, to calls in areas, the amount would be 4, the amount which is not paid, 4. This is how the entry for forfeiture of a share issued at a premium would be passed presuming the premium money has been received.
An example, X limited forfeited 1000 shares of 10 each issued at a premium of rupees 5 per share payable with allotment for non-payment of the final call of rupees 4 per share. Pass journal entries. So what is this? This is face value of rupees 10. Calls in areas rupees 4. So amount received is 6. Actually it is 6 plus 5 but this 511 premium element is ignored. The premium element is ignored. So what would be the entry here? It would be share capital account debit to shares forfeited So this is 10,000 shares forfeited 6,000 2 calls in areas 4 is in areas 4,000 the fact that we have received another 5,000 which is lying in securities premium is entirely ignored. We cannot move this out of securities premium. Money received a securities premium will remain in securities premium account. For feature of shares issued at a premium, assuming that premium money has not been received, if premium money has not been received, that amount of securities premium which was credited at the time of allotment of shares can now be debited, can be written back. It's therefore the entry in that case is share capital account debit with the called up value into the shares forfeited, securities premium account debit with the share premium not received on the shares forfeited, to shares forfeited with the amount received on the shares forfeited, to calls in areas with the unpaid amount on the shares forfeited, including premium, including premium. Let us consider this example. XYZ Limited forfeited 1000 shares of 10 each, fully called up, issued at a premium of rupees 5 per share payable with allotment. Only the application money of 2 per share has been received. Pass journal entries. Fully called up. So called up value is rupees 10. <clears throat> Amount received rupees 2 per share. Amount not received is actually 8 plus 5. This is called up value is 10. Premium is 5. Amount not received is actually 8 plus 5. So when the share was issued, when the shares were allotted, the entry which we passed with respect to this would have been share allotment account debit to securities premium to share capital. This securities premium which we credited, we have not received this money and therefore now we are going to debit this, write it back. So what would be the entry for forfeited share capital account debit with the paid up value? What is the paid up value? 1000 into 10, 10,000. Two, no, securities premium, let us also write back the securities premium since it has not been paid. Securities premium account debit 5 per share into 1000 shares, 5000. Two, shares forfeited account with the amount which is actually received. What is the forfeited account here? We have received only 2 rupees into 1000 shares, 2000. Two, calls in areas. How much is the calls in areas is an entire amount of 8 plus 5, 13,000 into 1,000 shares, 13,000. So this would be our entry, share capital account debit with 10 rupees, securities premium account debit with 5, to shares forfeited 2, to calls in areas 13 because this 13 includes 
share premium includes share premium securities premium has been debited calls and arrears is inclusive of the share premium let's take another example xyz limited issued shares of 10 each payable as 2 on application 5 on allotment including premium and 4 on the first and final call the final call has not yet been made the company wants to forfeit 1000 shares held by madhu for non payment of the allotment money pass journal entries on forfeiture so what is the amount payable 2 plus 5 including a premium and 4 on first and final call so that is 2 plus 5 7 8 9 10 11 so we are talking of rupee 1 security spread the final call has not been made and the company wants to forfeit 1000 shares held by madhu for non payment of the allotment money pass journal entries <clears throat> the entry would be share capital account debit with the called up value of the shares what is the called up value final call not made how much is the final call it is 4 so 10 is the is the nominal value 4 has not yet been called up therefore 6 into 1000 shares 6000 share capital account debited called up value into shares forfeited securities premium has not been received therefore we write it back securities premium account debit how much is the premium the premium is only 1 2 plus 5 7 8 9 10 11 securities premium account 1 rupee per share into 1000 shares 2 shares forfeited account with the amount which has been paid how much has been paid he has paid only the application money. 2 on application, 5 on allotment, 4 on first and final call. Final call not made and allotment money not paid. The amount paid is only application 2 into 1000 shares. 2. Calls in areas. How much is in areas? Calls in areas is 5 rupees per share. 5000 this includes the premium amount so share capital account debit with the called up values only 6 securities premium account debit with 1 since it was not received to shares forfeited with 2 the amount which is received to calls and areas with 5 the total amount of areas including premium Let us try another example. Asha Limited issued shares of 100 each at a premium of 25%. Mamta, who has 2000 shares of Asha Limited, failed to pay the first and final call totaling rupees 5. Premium was taken at the time of allotment by the company. On forfeiture of Mamta's shares, the amount to be debited to the share premium account will be A. 5000, B. 10,000. C 15,000 and D net. The answer should be D nil because Ash, because Mamta failed to pay only the first and final call. Premium was paid along with allotment and premium has been received. If securities premium, if share premium is received, securities premium has been credited, we cannot now touch that account. Therefore, nothing will be debited to the share premium account. Correct answer should be D. Next, A limited forfeited 1000 equity shares of 10 each issued at a discount of 10% for non-payment of the first call of rupees 2 and second call of rupees 3 per share. For recording this for feature, calls in areas will be credited by A. 4000, B. 1000, C. 5000 and D. 10,000. Non-payment of 2, non-payment of 3, 
totally non payment is 5 calls in arrears will therefore be credited with 5 per share therefore it should be 5000 option c <coughs> next uma being a holder of 1000 shares of rupees 20 each issued a 10% discount failed to pay the allotment money of rupees 8 and final call money of rupees 4 the director decided to forfeit the shares at the time of forfeiture the discount on issue of shares account will be credited by 1000 b debited by 2000 c credited by 2000 and d not affected so the discount on issue of shares at the time of forfeiture is credited by what whatever was the amount of discount what was the amount of discount it's a 20 rupee share at 10% discount it's 2 rupees per share therefore we are talking of 2 per share into 1000 shares or rupees 2000 therefore the discount would be credited by rupees 2000 correct answer is option c credited by 2000